Welcome to Clan TV. It's the last regular home match of the season and Five Flyers have come here to take on Brayhead Clan. Five Three Met is quite simple, win their two games and they're in the playoffs. Brayhead Clan on the other hand looking for that higher league position, although what is inevitable is the fact that Nottingham Panthers or Sheffield Steelers will be here next week for the playoff quarterfinals. Latest information on the clan can be found at the website at www.brayheadclan.com. Also find the club on Facebook as well as Twitter at Brayhead underscore clan. Sit back, it's going to be a big game, all the fans are here. It's Brayhead Clan versus the Five Flyers. <laughs> people making their way into the arena. The referee tonight is Scott Dalgleish as he gets ready to start this match. It's a big, big weekend. In terms of five flyers, they're on the outside looking in, currently in ninth place. Ladies and gentlemen, they need to hope boys and girls, the Hull Cardiff will commentary slip up above them. This is Scott Dalgleish drops the puck the and we're underway. And going from right to left, wearing purple, gentlemen. of course. Are the five flyers. Mario the Rock. And your home side. That's here for Fulton, almost kicked it off. The Rock Jones making the block. Bobby Chamont, of course, a former Brayhead player. Has the puck taken off him by Nicolat. Nicolat dumps it down the right down as far as McGrain here, just before the red line. Arson moves it on for Trim. Gets away from him, back in the flyer zone. Haynes plays it backwards. Up on this side, it's Tim Hartung. Looks for Jordan Fulton. Down the left side, Kenton Smith. Sweeping it away, Matt Tau. Tau for Brayhead. Arson on the left. Blocked by Kevin Regan. One can only imagine how the players are feeling out there, hearing this wall of sound as they made their way onto the ice. I suppose it's the reason why these guys play hockey. Chance now, Ash Goldie. Regan pokes it away. An opportunity for Champagne to follow. Regan makes the block with the pads. Goldie again. Regan's near post. Escapes again. Arson chases it all the way back. Plan on the move again. Jones, interestingly, not in his own goal there. Plan going with six skaters so early in the game. An interesting move by Ryan Finnerty. Regan under pressure there. Jones will resume his place. But the first penalty of the game goes to the Flyers. And it's Matt Nickerson. To the delight of the home fans. Matt Nickerson goes for hooking, 149 into the game. Well, this game actually sold out yesterday, that's Friday as you watch this. Unbelievable stuff, Goldie. There's a backhanded opportunity, doesn't quite come off for him. Has to bring it all the way back. Mario LaRock into the fight zone. LaRock. Blocked by Kyle Jones. Brother Kevin Regan, sorry. Shamont for Fulton. Flyers back to Matt Nickerson returns to the ice. Flyers have a man advantage for another 33 seconds. Can Clan move it on the break? They can't. Danny Stewart picks up the loose puck. The associate coach blocked by Jones. Shamont on his right side. Inside, no one there. The Rock has to chase with Danny Stewart. It's a hit there. But the Rock's going to get called for it. Clan will be 5 on 3 down, at least for 11 seconds. And it's another power play for 5. As Mario The Rock enters the penalty box. 
Michael Douglas, tonight's match referee. This is the fourth game between Brayhead and Five. Douglas has officiated this season. The other four meetings between Clan and Five have been refereed by Neil Wilson. Chris Frank. Danny Stewart and Bergen meeting at the far side. Send the puck away, it's Scott Arson now, Harper. This is a touch. Ned Nicholson with him. Bergen and Stewart again. Bergen holding his ground. Stewart and Bergen, two very competitive players. Chris Frank going in. Nicholson and Frank, well, that's been a, an on-running storyline between these two all season. Chris Frank admitting in a recent press interview that he would happily go for a drink with Matt Nickerson. Plan move out their own zone again. Chris Frank gets in down the left side. Hit on De Costa, but the puck is on the other side. Frank and Tommy Muir now. I was saying earlier what Matt Nickerson is to Brayhead fans, you can safe to say Chris Frank is the same to the five fans. The five fans. And Frank will go. We'll get a penalty there. As will Tommy Muir. And it's Joe, Kevin Bergen, two veterans. Meeting at the face-off zone, Nickerson. Comes it into the plan area. Kevin Bergen, making himself known to Nickerson. That's a good pass. Bergen, saved by Regan. Nickerson in there again, Chris Frank. Bergen, along the boards. Justin Harper on this near side, playing it across. Nickerson. I think it was Kevin Bergen, the two men having a small exchange, shall we say. Well, I mentioned Lukasiewicz's hot streak of form. In total, since arriving at Fife, he's played 32 games and registered 43 points. In those last 16 matches since the 1st of February, Lukasiewicz has scored 28 of his 43 points in that time. Sitting at 10 and 18, he's actually scored four goals in the last six matches for five. What a player he's been. Just need to see some of the goals he scored on YouTube. To see what an excellent player Lukasiewicz has been for the five flyers this season. Our turn. Plays it across Jones. Gives it away Jordan Fulton with a loose puck. And for the opportunity. Plays it to the back door. Fife have scored. 2.51 to go. A power play goal. Looks like Danny Stewart was here to finish off. Good work from Jordan Fulton. Finding the veteran Danny Stewart. And he sends the puck past Kyle Jones. They have the opening goal. Clan have won only one of the last five matches. That was that 8-2 win over Nottingham Panthers two weeks ago. But at home, have won seven of the last ten. Those home losses were to Belfast, Sheffield, and last week here against the Cardiff Devils. As I mentioned, Fife have won 11 in the last 16. They went on a run. Six wins in a row in that spell. Stewart. Bergen. Carson. It's for Bergen. But Kyle Haynes picks it up. Bolton. Opportunity for five. Kyle Haynes sends his shot past Kyle Jones. Another power play goal. Five Flyers are two in front now. 
Sky Flyers open a two goal lead on 24 31. Another face off. Danny Stewart. He looks like Matt out. No, Joel Champagne it is rather, sorry. Beating in the middle. Kenton Smith brings it away. Esdras and Towin supports. Smith trying it. Fighted away by Regan. Clown have had the better of the play in the last few minutes. Haven't quite found their way to go yet. Regan has been in good form. And reset things at the back. Oh, it's a mistake from Kenton Smith. Stephen Gunn right in front of him. Able to send the puck into the net. And the Flyers have gone 3-0 up. Terrible mistake from Kenton Smith. Good tenacity from Stephen Gunn, though. Got to admire the way he got himself in that position. We head have the power play. Last penalty, number 26, Jordan Fulton, receives two minutes for elbows. Penalty time 38. Himself blocked by Regan, five cleared it away. Kenton Smith, he'll be keen to make one amends. Back earlier, one minute. Head up. Green. Front of Champagne Regan covers once more. Two minutes for elbows. Penalty time 58 46. 56 seconds left. Another face off on this near side. Enough. Matt Nicholson now moving down this inside right. And Kenton Smith in front of him, Ed McGrain. Trying to be looking to find the net before the end of the second period. 3 0 down. Two down, they looked as though they could have found a way back. Stephen Gunn goal. Certainly giving renewed momentum to the Flyers. The seconds left of the second period. Another chance, another cover from Regan. stand in this early in this third period we're still no closer to knowing it really is going to go to the wire as you watch this of course you'll know the outcome by the time you watch this but the uncertainty of it all has made it a fascinating watch down that end of the table Brayhead they secured the playoff spot a couple of weeks ago they've tried to finish the season on a high note it's not been working out too well for them Comes inside. Fantastic finish from Neil Trim. It's brilliantly coming in from, from the outside left here. Takes 
it into the middle, send the shot. Kevin Regan looked unsighted. And suddenly Clan are back in the game. Excellent finish. Oh, Goldie. Will tries to walk him off. Regan covers. Team 10 left to go. Well, that was Joel Champagne's 44th assist of the season. He assisted in Neil Trim's goal. Well taken finish from Trim. Trim arrived from Frederick Chauvin, the Danish team. Rock! Oh, he's taken a touch of that time! And suddenly Brayhead Clan have equalised! 3-0 down to 3-3! It's game on here at Brayhead Arena! Teeing it up again, Tau getting a touch, Regan beaten, and suddenly it's Brayhead Clan 3, Five Flyers 3. As Tau's 17th goal of the season is 35th point of the whole season. Conference game, this is 10th of the season now. Champagne, Regan at full stretch, another class save from the Flyers netminder. Well, I think there'll be quite a few people in this arena with horse horse voices in the morning. Don't be surprised if I'm the same way, the way this game's going. Flyers move it away now, Matt Reber. Tries to go, take the puck on the outside of Arson. Nickerson gets the puck in the face by Mario LaRocque. Quite accidental, I can assure you. Well, Trim for Champagne. Momentum very much with Brayhead now, and McGrain with a follow up. Another stop. Nickerson getting involved with Joel Champagne. Emotion starting to run high. Frustration as well. Matt Nickerson giving his customary Brayhead greeting as he enters the penalty box. for Nickerson. Thirteen, fifteen left. So Nickerson gets two minutes for roughing. Oh, Seven minutes dead. What a turnaround from the infinity side. Three nine. That's our winning ticket number. Not Congratulations. Two thousand five pounds is coming your way. Please make your way to the body immediately to claim your prize. Six nine. nine Surges up this right hand side. Is it across Jones? Does enough. To divert it away. Reba, good save from Kyle Jones. Hinton Smith, 
Lukasovic has the puck in the neutral zone, finds his way to the clan area. He's got Chris Frank with him. It's going to get interesting between Frank and Rail. Frank will go to the penalty box. Frank unhappy. Skates after Scott Dalgleish. He has to be restrained here. <laughs> the serving is roughing the rail. Five fifty-two left of this third period. Fulton will sit in the penalty box. Well, Chris Frank's night has ended. Two plus ten plus game for abuse of official. Fantastic attendance tonight. Over 3,000, that's for sure. Hope to hear final figure before the game's finished. I've got to give credit to the, we reckon, 500 Fife fans that have made the journey down. We'll already be looking ahead to tomorrow's game. Never mind what, what happens with the rest of this one. Tomorrow night is the big night. And they'll, they'll find out one way or the other if they will be playing in the playoffs next week. Oh, great head on the break. Matt Tau tries to get the better of Danny Stewart. The puck escapes him. Matt Reber picks it up loose. He's inside for real. Jones! Backs into the back of the net. Flyers have the equaliser. Jones got a touch on it, couldn't quite keep it out. And the Flyers have found an equaliser with two minutes left to go. My goodness, as if this game isn't dramatic enough. We really are going the distance here. In previous meetings between these two teams, Five have won. There's been four games that have gone beyond 60 minutes in the 22 out of the 22 previous meetings. Five have won the two that have gone to overtime. Rayhead have won the two that have gone to penalty shots. He'll trim another chance. Caught by Regan. So based on that, Clan would ideally want the game to go to penalty shots. They're going to defeat the Flyers. Point for Flyers, of course, still keeps them in the hunt for eighth place. It was always going to come down to Sunday night. It was always going to come down to what happens in Kirkcaldy. Rayhead are having a major say in how the season ends for five Flyers. Oh, tight in at the board. Face off call on the far side. To our right as you watch, in front of Kyle Jones' goal. 12.9 seconds. Flyers fans on their feet, Brayhead fans on their feet as well. A lot of noise in this game tonight, unbelievable stuff. Great atmosphere by both sets of fans. But an absolutely fantastic game to watch. Sends the puck down. The buzzer goes. We are heading for overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We will stop the move in 10 minutes. Well, as I mentioned at the end of the third period there, four games out of the 22 previous ones between these two teams have gone beyond the 60 minutes. Fife have won two that went to overtime. Clan won the other two that went to penalty shots. Just well remember, game in Fife back in December. Danny Stewart scoring the winner in overtime, a 7-6 game. It was live on television. That really was a fantastic game. Where this one ranks has to be high up there this, this season.
when it gets to penalty shots. That's when it gets very interesting, of course. The Rock. Has it in his own zone. Arson. Plan taking the time with it. Patient build up, patient play. That's Trim over the far side. He's a break away from McGrain. McGrain trying to lay it on for La Rock. Didn't quite come off. Now, Shimon on the break. That was Jordan Fulton blocked off. Shimon has the loose puck. Jones gets the touch to Costa, reacts first. Neil Trim alongside him. Costa is, of course, the captain of Five Flyers. Looking for the opportunity. The Rock and Fulton getting in each other's road there at that near post. 3.43. Nickerson. Nikasevich. Back loose, Kenton Smith doing well, gets ahead of him. Lee Ez does. Now, Clan on the break. Three against three. Lays it on the inside, Regan covers. Of course, both teams have a point at this stage. Just whoever wins the secondary point. be a big confidence boost for Clan if they were to pull this off, taking them into the game with Kakori tomorrow. Smith dumps it down, goes over. Matt Reba. With the nickel out in front of him. Tries the effort, Jones. Doing enough. Smith sweeps it away, Nickerson. Very real. It's a wide Ash Goldie. Follows up. All the way down for Justin De Costa. Haynes. Haynes blocked by Jones. A bit of a, a, bit of a tug on the shot there from the rock on Fulton. Looks as though he's got away with it though. That goal's moved off its moorings. 2.31. We're at the halfway point of this overtime period. And away again, Bobby Shimon and Ash Goldie meeting in the middle. Goldie of Champagne. Just to put it back across, a couple of five players in his way. Hunt, poked away by Arsen. Champagne beating Fulton in the middle. Now Champagne walked off by Regan. Da Costa puts it up loose into the final two minutes of overtime. Fulton, Jones covering at his near post. and Fulton tussling away at those boards right in front of those five fans the fan bring it away Ed McGrain inside for Nicolats Nicolat had Matt Nickerson at his back Kevin Bergen on the inside for McGrain and McGrain hit the shot he does he moves it away and flyers runs on Bergen Takes advantage. Fantastic save from Regan. And Horn covers for him. Oh my goodness. Freehead Clan haven't won a game in overtime since they beat Coventry Blaze by three goals to two here back in mid-November. 
interesting game that one. to play, Laroque, one timer goes wide. McGrain, for Kenton Smith, loses control of it. One minute remaining in second death overtime, one minute. As you can hear that we're inside the last minute, Tim Hartung. Let's one fly, goes. Over and wide. Kenton Smith scored Clan's fourth goal. Loved by Kevin Regan. Regan was looking to keep things going by moving it on to Kyle Haynes, but the whistle has gone. Well, the last time Brayhead Clan had to face penalty shots was in Edinburgh. A dramatic game which saw them defeat the Capitals in Murrayfield. That was back in the 9th of February. again. There's that song again, dropping in the thief. Thirty-one point two seconds left. Terrific advert for British ice hockey this match. Very well. Arson uses his hand to stop the movement of the puck. Didn't quite know where it was landing, Nickerson. That goes wide, Arson looks to control it. Back down the way. Almost get caught out by too many men there, but well, if the omens are right, then we're into penalty shots. Brayhead Plan have won the two games that have gone to penalty shots. Our tongue, Shimon, and Lucas Savage will take all the number shots. Number 74, Mattel, and number 15. Goldie! Joel Champagne, Ash Goldie and Matt Town will be the penalty Number shots takers. Number 27. Tim Hartung. Tim Hartung. Has taken eight previous penalty shots, scored six and missed two. Three of them have been game winners. Kyle Jones ready to face the five man. Hartung. The bar can back down. Now Joel Champagne has scored one and missed two of his penalty shots prior to this game tonight. This would give Clan a big advantage. Champagne. It's saved by Regan. Lukasovic steps up now. He scored one and missed two in three penalty shot attempts. And he's found his way past Kyle Jones. Flyer scored that one. They have the advantage. Tau has taken one and scored one. 100% record. Can he make it two out of two? Matt Tau for Brayhead Clan. And Regan saves. Now, advantage five. Bobby Shaman can deliver the killer blow. A former Brayhead clan player. He scored four and missed five of nine. Shaman. John Fox. Shaman is denied. And now it comes back to Ash Goldie. Goldie scores, clan of level. Goldie misses. Might have the win. 
It's up to the time skipper. Goldie. And it's blocked! Kevin Regan has denied that Goldie. Five flyers have the two points. What a fantastic game here at Brayhead Arena tonight. Five flyers win the game on penalty shots. Dramatic stuff. Kevin Regan did brilliantly there in the penalty shots. But that will be of no consolation to Ash Goldie. Clan did so well from 3-0 down. They had a 4-3 lead. Flyers were able to equalise through Derek Rail in the last couple of minutes. Overtime couldn't separate the two teams. Penalty shots was the way it went. Only one penalty shot, really decisive. Ned Lukasiewicz, five fight on. The last chance to clinch a playoff spot tomorrow. It's finished, Brayhead Clan four, five flyers five after penalty shots.